Language has been the foundation of my whole career. My journey began as a rapper. I then went on to be a part of things like pirate radio and doing local shows and events. When I was in school, I never understood the value of languages at the time. As a big man, I really do regret it now, do you know what I mean? And I've, I've spent a lot of effort to learn languages. I think currently there's 13 different nationalities at Arsenal. Obviously, they all speak many different languages. Our current manager, Mikel Arteta, speaks seven languages. The actual footballers will only make up a small part of people who work in the football industry. There's plenty more jobs, such as in marketing or press or PR. Being able to speak a language is useful because you're dealing with companies from around the world or journalists from around the world. When I trained to be a lawyer, I was doing different areas of law, such as corporate litigation, where the subject matter was much more international. So in those practice areas, I did often have to use my French and German, um, for example, to research companies based in those jurisdictions um, and write some introductory emails to clients who were from those countries. Jugni comes and dances in my dreams. Jugni takes me across borders, taking me to Lahore. It enables you to explore, I think, and imagine things that perhaps you can't think in one language, but you can think in another language. And now, like, there's so many opportunities to work with in languages. You can collaborate with other artists, academics and musicians. And there's just so many things you can do now with language, which I think wasn't possible, like, even just, like, five, six years ago. When I was a freelance journalist for, for quite some number of years, about 10 years, I did a lot of work in football. Uh, interviewed a lot of Spanish-speaking footballers uh, for clubs like Real Madrid, Manchester United, Chelsea. Uh, and so I used the, my linguistic skills for doing the interviews, then transcribing and translating the interviews into English. I now work at the Royal College of General Practitioners. Um, I'm there doing sort of student engagement and running events. I've wanted to be all sorts of things from an interpreter to you know working in the UN to being a lawyer and actually all of those can require language skills. When you arrive at this unit you get six months of intensive language training. I did Arabic, uh, so I did three months of Arabic in the UK and then went to live with a family in Jordan. Trying to learn a language as an older person was harder and made me wish that I'd probably made more of an effort at school and enjoyed those times but actually the French that I did at school definitely made it a lot easier. I knew that learning languages would keep my options open. I tend to use Italian a lot for work, um, whether it's speaking to people while I'm here in London, having to speak to people for research or to set up filming trips, um, or whether it's in Italy um, on location, having to direct people in Italian or speak to people to make sure that things get done. Italian, for some reason, is uh, the language that gets used all the time. If we have two people with an equal CV, but one of them can speak a language, they'd be more likely to get a job because it's a useful skill to have. I've taken what I've learned from learning Arabic into other parts of my working life and I think probably almost on a daily basis find myself doing something because I honed that skill or learnt that skill from learning a language. Languages are useful in business, languages are useful in, in friendship, they're useful in love, they're useful in creation, they're useful in everything. People think that we do PR and communications, but basically we're problem solvers. And so problems come in all different shapes and sizes and you have to be creative uh, to, to get an outcome that, that you're after. And I think that people who've learnt languages have a very creative mindset. I definitely think that I've gained other skills um, aside of just learning the languages, definitely communication skills. Because once you learn a language, you also think in another language, you also act in a different way. A lot of times your voice even changes, your mood changes, everything about the language changes. I also mentioned in my videos that the culture plays a big role in learning a language. You can't just learn a language without having some kind of interest in the cultural aspects of the language. And in order to understand the culture, a lot of times you will understand it better if you speak the language. I think you gain a lot of skills. Attention to detail because you, especially when you're translating and interpreting, you really have to hone in on each, each word. Um, communication skills, you have to learn to read and write and 
speak, so basically all the main skills in another language, and then obviously cultural awareness because you're having to put yourself in the, in the mindset of, of a different culture. The really interesting part about a language degree is almost everything you learn whilst learning the language. So you learn what you think are the kind of nuts and bolts of French, for example, you're studying grammar or you're looking at how to construct a sentence or kind of learning vocabulary. And actually while you're doing that, you are also learning how to communicate you're learning how other people communicate. You're also learning how another culture and another society works. Being able to analyze a sentence or being able to work out where things should go or what the kind of you know, correct format of something is or why it is as well, that kind of logic and analysis has been incredibly useful. Anything is useful, like even the tiniest bit, just your hello, goodbye, please and thank you. But every single sort of phrase or bit of vocab is going to get you that little bit closer. You know, instead of saying hello to the taxi driver, you can say hello to the taxi driver, I want to go here and go left. You know, then he's going to speak to you, probably be nicer, probably be more interested in you. If it's, you know, a meeting with some military personnel from a particular foreign military, immediately they're going to be warmer, more open and probably more forthcoming. I think if you know anything of another language, it's useful. I think if you find yourself in a different country and you can pick up even just a few words to be able to order food, to get a coffee, to ask directions, that is useful. Um, of course, being able to be fluent in a language opens up a whole new world. It means that you can live somewhere else. It means that you can work in that place. It means that you can make new friendships and it, um, you know, opens up a whole world of literature to you um, but even just being able to get by with a few words here and there um, when you're somewhere else I think is a tremendously useful skill to have. The thing is not about trying to always reach fluency level but um, with just being able to communicate fluency level will eventually come by itself and I also think the idea of fluency meaning not making any mistakes is not quite correct and it's not quite what I experienced so I want to emphasize that also on my channel um, in my videos I talk about that a lot that fluency doesn't make that you're not making any mistakes even native speakers make mistakes being able to speak a language even up to GCSE and A level is useful because even if you meet people who can speak that language but can't speak any English you will be the one who will be able to look after them and make them feel welcome I would say stick with it. I think language uh, and language skills are going to continue to become a major differentiator with employers. It's something I'm hugely grateful for. I'll take on for the rest of my life and something I would say to everybody, just, just do it. You will see the benefits. One of my biggest regrets is as soon as I started looking for jobs after university, I realised that so many require languages. It will only be more resourceful for you to learn as many languages that you possibly can, to connect with as many people as you can.